Hey guys, it's Fletch. Welcome to the Big Sky Hack Tactical Channel in Big Sky Country. <clears throat> Welcome to my reloading table once again. Today guys, we're going to be looking at the IO AK-47 scope mount. This is an update to my previous video that I had done on the scope mount. So this is the update now that I've had it for a while and I've been able to test it. So <clears throat> let's take a look at the, the mount here. And uh, as you can see, I've got a Hilux uh, leather wood red dot uh, scope on here, optic. It's not really a scope, but people call them scopes anyways. Um, but it's a red dot optic. And uh, the the mount itself that IO makes is, is very different than most of the other mounts that are on there because it can pretty easily be put on and taken off. So if you didn't want to have any optics on your AK, you could just simply slide it off. Uh, you know, especially in this case since this has some nice lens covers on it, throw that in a duffel bag or put it in a, a dump pouch on your loadout or whatever and you could just run iron sights if for whatever reason you wanted to do that. And then when you wanted to switch back and forth you could just slide it back on there and it's a fairly <clears throat> simple process and you've got two hands to do it and you can see what you're doing it's really not much to it and <clears throat> you basically just line it up and you tighten that thumb wheel on there good and tight and that's all there is to it. When you're ready to take it off, we just do just the opposite. Turn it three or four times, and it slides right off. It, it does hold on there fairly well. Uh, I will tell you that one thing that, that I found when uh, setting this up for myself to see where I needed to, to position this every time so that it held zero was that <clears throat> Uh, well, let's first let's look at the bottom of it here. If you look on the bottom, right there with that thumb wheel, where that sticks out, that is where your, as you turn this thumb wheel in, the screw on the other side there sticks out. And what happens is that screw goes down right in this area here on the, the scope base it goes right in between there and so what, what I found is that when I'm putting it on, let me run this back out what I found is that when I'm putting it on that I've got a pretty good idea of where it's going to be based on how much reveal there is off of the edge of the scope base and then you start turning it and what will happen is the <clears throat> the mount that screw on the inside will slide down into the the gap that's in between there and it will stay on there locked tight uh, I have not had any issues with it uh, coming loose while shooting it I'm sure that you know there's uh, an ex you know, <laughs> exception for everything but it hasn't been my experience uh, it's it's actually worked really pretty well and like I said uh, the inside of that screw it goes up against this uh, rivet right here that helps to hold this into place and it rides right on there and so <clears throat> all right so one criticism that I had for this product when I first got it was that um, the <laughs> the hardened uh, screws that they give you to put in there uh, they weren't very tight to begin with and they certainly weren't Loctited um, you know I can understand you know that they may not want to uh, you know because it increases their cost but Loctite on it ahead of time but you know other manufacturers do things like that like <clears throat> you know just, just as an example here is a uh, aim sports this is a standard one inch uh, Picatinny flashlight mount that I've been testing. When I received this, these four screws that are right here, uh, 
in the instructions, it just you know, a little maybe like two by two piece of paper on there, and it said, hey, uh, you know, if you're going to be running this on a, a weapon, you're probably going to put some Loctite on there. But you know, we didn't put it on there for you, so that you know you could take the screws out and you, know, you can mount your flashlight. But once you're sure that you've got the flashlight in there that you want to stay, you know, put some blue Loctite on there. <laughs> so. Uh, <clears throat> So if you're watching I.O., that's one thing that, that I would suggest to you is to make sure that your customers know that those screws will back out and they will become loose just from normal shooting of an AK-47. So um, now that uh, I've got it all set up and, and whatnot and Loctited, I've not had any issues with this top Picatinny rail coming off the, the base here. Uh, one other nice thing that, that, I, that I would tell you that you might be able to gain an advantage with having a removable Picatinny rail off the top is that you could put different sizes or even a weaver uh, mount on the top there rather than just a Picatinny. So if you wanted to have you know, a longer one, shorter one, for whatever reason, you could do that with this design because it's held in by two screws that are on the top there. <clears throat> now, one other advantage that, that I, I will say about this IO AK-47 scope mount is that uh, one of the problems that I ran into was this uh, Hilux Leatherwood red dot uh, sight is that I had to shim it. Um, if you guys have been around hunting for a long time, you know, in, in the olden days, a lot of times, when you mounted a scope, you would have to shim it because you wouldn't be able to adjust, uh, adjust your <clears throat> up or down on uh, whatever particular scope that it was enough so that you could be on target forever you needed. So you would have to actually put a shim underneath your mount so that it would, you know, can't your scope just a little bit, you know, up or down, whichever way you needed it to go. And that's something that I had to do with this Hilux uh, Leatherwood Red Dot sight. <clears throat> so I, in this case, I was certainly thankful that the design of this uh, IO AK-47 scope mount allowed for that. And you can just barely see it right there. There is a little bit of a gap in between the bottom of the Picatinny and the top of the scope mount base. So there's another feature that, uh, that you gain by going with uh, something like this I.O. where, because a lot of the other AK-47 scope mounts that are on there, it's all one solid piece. And that was a criticism that I had originally gave this, and I thought that it should have been one whole piece like every other one that's out there on the market. Well, guys, I, I can tell you now after having uh, this for about a year now and you know shot you know, well over a thousand rounds through it that uh, I can definitely see where the advantage is in having a, a removable Picatinny on the top It's just that you're going to need to get some blue Loctite and you're going to need to lock it down on there to make sure that it doesn't come loose but if you do lock it down with uh, blue Loctite it won't come loose and, and it will stay on there or at least that's certainly been my experience so uh, all in all, I'd say that uh, I, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, when I started out, uh, honestly, <laughs> I was a little, eh, you know, there might be a better one that's out there. But after having used it for a while now, uh, I like it. I like it a lot, especially because uh, it goes on and off in just a couple of seconds. Uh, some, of them, some of the other ones that are out there on the market, it'll be really easy to get on, but a pain in the butt to get off where it'll be a pain in the butt to get off, but you can get it, uh, or a pain in the butt to get it on, but you can get it off really quick. Well, with this particular design, it goes on and off, you know, very quickly, very easily. So, uh, now that I've had this for about a year, I, I can give it two thumbs up. Uh, this is a great AK-47 scope mount in my experience. Well, this has been an update on the IO AK-47 scope mount. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you had a great day. God bless.